Okay, so where are we at? We're taking a look at the boat. Um, progress. Uh, we have the cleats in, but they're not the right ones. I'm um, just kind of, we talked about the, the drive. This drive is going to be replaced with the ITS. That way we can get the hydraulics. They got a hydraulic system that goes inside the box. So the hydraulics are going to be changed. And uh, we pretty much wrapped up the interior. And uh, the interior, we know what we want. Everything's just, the upholstery guy's on board. He's got everything good. We got the, the brackets and the mounting there. So that'll be shaken out um the issue is steering unit but they're pretty sure they got that one and then uh like i said these are the cleats that are on here right now but the ones i was looking at were which i sent over have the, the push button on there and yeah don't get me wrong these are nice cleats but my concern is will they rattle while while riding on the boat and I'm pretty sure just rocking it back and forth like this I'm not even trying like you're gonna hear that times two here two in the back which these are also pretty loose and they don't have the spring load so they're gonna be rattling around pretty good and then these ones here which is um, I wasn't called for I need to be consulted on this stuff because uh, here we are cutting the deck again for, you know, pop-up cleats that I don't even like and I didn't even ask for. So I'm kind of, this is this has got me a little concerned. And, yep, that's where I'm kind of at right now, which means we'll have to look at this again. Uh, the rub rail, we're going to do stainless on the rub rail. Um, it was suggested to do black, but... I don't want to do a black rub rail and, and clean. Uh, it wouldn't look clean, and it would kind of divide up between the white and the black, or white and red, and I don't want that black in the middle. I also don't want a white rub rail, so I want to keep it pretty, pretty uh, sharp. So we're going to do stainless steel. That way it's polished stainless steel. It'll look really nice. And then uh, we'll go from there. But, yep, so it's really just a matter of getting the drive swapped out for the ITS that's going to bring this back six inches. Um, uh, the hydraulics are incorporated into the box and that'll help also get it out of the hole and balance out. It'll make the boat feel longer from what I understand. And yeah, we aren't going to do the ski toe on the back. We're going to do put the light back in here because we do have these here on each side so we can run the loop and that's fine um, to put the ski uh, set up in here. We'd have to either put it like right under here or on the backing and that's just not it's not a it's not a good idea. So I think we'll just leave the ski we'll leave the ski uh, the ski toe set up off. Um, the engine is pretty much in place. Everything's good. The Corsair exhaust is good. You have the going to the transom and going down into the to the drive so we can go quiet on the captain's call. Everything's good. Um, we do have to drop this bracket, probably about an inch, half inch to an inch, and that'll clear the deck. The deck is gonna be a little taller than it was before. It's actually gonna probably be right around flush with this right here to offset. You can see the engine is much higher. This engine's bigger than the original engine that was in here. I think the original engine was like a 305 or a 350 from the early 80s or maybe, maybe late 80s. And now we're running a 383, I think it's a 6.2, yeah, it's a 6.2 liter as opposed to the original, I think it was a 5 or 5.3 or 5.7 maybe at most. But yeah, um, the storage unit is cut already, so that will we'll have under the deck storage right here just for little things like a few life jackets and a paddle, things like that, so we can get it out of the, out of the way. Um, also going to leave this, we're going to leave this, um, and we're going to put a little storage right under here. And uh, in fact, I think this is where the, the short paddle will go. I don't even think we need a paddle, honestly, but whatever. Um, the bulkhead is in, everything's glassed up. We did put this back together now, so it's looking good. And um, here we are. The exhaust is ran, so we have the ex exhaust ran, and everything's 
attached up pretty good. So, uh, yeah, the lighting system for the for the back here as well. The lighting system is uh, installed. So, let me see here. There we go. So that's already put in place, and we have the new rod right here. Whereas, I mean, if you remember, the old one was pretty. The old one was pretty rough. So we have the new rod that can go in there, and uh, yeah, we'll put a bracket in there to store it. But it's it's coming along nice. Um, yeah. Oh, the fuel is installed. The fuel tank is in. We moved it forward. It's in. All the hosing and everything, and the breathers are put in. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna take take a peek up under here. Yep. So the breathers and everything is, it's all there. And yeah. So got the uh, got everything pretty much. All the little things are starting to come together. So and uh, yeah, it's looking like after Fourth of July. So I don't know how that's gonna work. I got a lot of military stuff I got to deal with, but we, we've decided on the flat mounts with the sliders, so that way you can turn the seat and also slide the seat. You know, when whichever direction you turn it, you can slide it back, and that'll give you more room for maneuverability. Um, the stereo and all that jazz. We have to kind of work out where the speakers are going to be. I suggested up under here, but it won't sound good, so. We'll figure out where the speakers are going to go, and uh, the head unit is going to go right into a gauge slot, so that's not a big deal. Everything else, we're just addressing it as it comes, and uh, yeah, this is a lot taller than the original, so yeah, and that's where we're at. So if, uh, if a lot of you have been wondering why I haven't done anything else with the cars or anything like that, it's really just to make sure you know, I, I finished this project. This project here is priority one. Um, everything else is not even a priority. So I want this one knocked out and everything else is on hold until, until this is complete. So yeah, a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, why I haven't upgraded or I haven't done other things and that's why. So everything is, uh, like I said, it's second to this. And here is the front rail. We have the front rail here for the, the handrail for the front for the nose. It's going to look good. And then we're figuring out the windshield. We've talked about the aluminum replacing the wood base that used to be on here with an aluminum base. So we can just bolt the windshield right there. The aluminum will be tapped so you can drill and uh, set it up and set studs. It'll be really cool. So. It will be really easy because you can set a stud inside. You can set a stud inside the aluminum piece, and then what you do is you put um, like a little piece of sponge on each uh, each uh, stud, and you set when you line it all up and you set it down. You can have a it'll leave just a little teeny tiny mark. You can use a erasable or dry erase um, marker, and then what you do is it'll give you the location of where to drill and then you can drill your holes and mount that and then the windshield will bolt on around the outside here so it looks good um yeah will i be in this year in the water most likely uh towards the middle to the end of the summer and that's fine um i really don't i want to be in the water but not that bad to where i don't want to rush it where everything's not done right so um, I'm really not worried about it at this at this point summer's already here. I'm not even tripping so Okay, hope you guys like this update. Um, I'll go ahead and post this up leave your comments uh, Everything's filthy right now because of the sanding and all the work, but but she'll be cleaned up and uh, everything will be made right For delivery day This 383 is gonna fly though guys This thing's got a lot more horsies and before so we got to clean all this up and everything's gonna be good I love the through transom exhaust way way cool so yeah guys all right I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this video out or close it out sorry I can't talk guys I'm so tired from work and everything I just can't think 
but this is the answer to the questions that you've had about why I haven't done anything, why I haven't been on any road rallies, why I haven't been anywhere, I haven't done anything. It's just to make sure that I get this project squared away, closed out, and um, that way I can enjoy it. So, All right, guys, this is George from streetculture.us. I will see you on the road.